What's going on guys? It's Brandon back here again. And today we got another BFR, game 61 versus the Boston Bruins. The Hawks got probably what they sh the result they should have got in the previous game against Boston 2 games ago. They lose 2 to 1 in overtime. Only reason why being Mark Andre Fleury, absolutely incredible, one of his best performances to date. They moved to 22 uh, 30 and 9. They get outshot 48 to 20 by Boston. Out, they out hit Boston 30 to 28. Faceoffs were 30 to 28. Boston power play. Chicago goes 0 for 3. Boston 0 for 4. Uh, Flurry saves 46 out of 48. Allmark 19 out of 20. Uh, before this game, there are prayers and tr tr tribute for Ukrainians, and uh, before the national anthem, uh, there were a couple trades to Colorado, which included uh, Nico Sturm and Tyson Jost. Uh, Sturm going to Colorado, Jost going to the Wild, and then there was another trade between Anaheim and Colorado with Josh Manson going to uh, Colorado in return for a second uh, second round pick and a prospect. And even today, Frank Vetrano has gone over to the Rangers in exchange for a fourth round pick. Uh, t so some trades starting to heat up, <clears throat> get the league going, and hopefully this will bring in some stuff. Uh, Felino was Felino was in his one thousandth game. Entry level deal for prospect uh, Alex Vlasic. I remember when he was drafted. Uh, it was a very slow paced, mostly clean game. There were some scrums in there. Uh, so at March 15th at 7:30 they faced off, and Borgstrom was in. Johnson and Murphy were both out after taking injuries in the previous game against Ottawa. And we let's go to the first where Boston is sloppy early. Uh, near turnover almost leads to a Boston goal. However, Hawks can't get much going. Uh, and at 14:58, it's a Boston penalty to Grizzly for interference. That would be killed. It was not good uh, at all. It was pretty bad. Flurry, great save on Bergeron. Uh, DeBrusque fanned on an open net. Boston was in control. Flurry, another good save. Allmark, good save on Kane. Then at 9:34, it's a Chicago penalty to Strom for tripping. Uh, if Strom doesn't take that penalty, Marshawn makes it one nothing early. So it's a good penalty to take. Flurry was having an excellent period. Shots were 14 to four Boston after the first. And, and that penalty was killed off. Uh, we go to the second period, in which at 16:55 it's a Chicago penalty for high sticking, uh, which would be killed. And uh, Lafferty saves posture not goal. Bruins power play dangerous. Uh, three f and then uh, Hall and Riley collide. Lafferty chance denied. McAvoy wide open net chance. Uh, saw his stick shatter while on the power play. Then at 3.38, it's a Chicago penalty to Lafferty for interference. It was killed, but it was a stupid penalty by Lafferty. That's just, he just checked Hall into the net unnecessarily for no reason whatsoever. Uh, the Hawks were getting a few chances, some not even on the net. Uh, crowd was giving Flurry a standing ovation and chanting Flurry after the second period ended. McCabe was cl clearly tripped by Pasternak, no call. McCabe throws his arms up, the crowd was booing. Uh... Flurry robs Marshawn on a sprawling post-to-post -post save. Doc had a uh, great move on McAvoy. Uh, he gets a breakaway, big save, all mark on, on that. Uh, 44.2 seconds left in the second. Boston penalty to Riley for tripping, which would be killed, but it would carry over into the next period. And then all mark robs a Kane to break it to start the third, in which uh, the Hawks start on the power play. To break it to Hagel, Hagel taken down, no call once again. They could have been a lot of calls going in Chicago's favor that weren't this game, but we would get we'll get we would get those calls later. Uh, during the intermission, Ovechkin uh, then passed Yager for third all time in goals in NHL history. So congratulations to Alex Ovechkin. And at 7:28, Chicago penalty to Dehan for tripping, which would be killed. The Hawks couldn't get out of their own zone. And at 15:17, about nine seconds after the. Power play, it ended. It's a Boston goal from Patrice Bergeron, his 17th of the season from Holland Marshawn from 1-0. At first, you couldn't even tell it went in. It was reviewed. Uh, it was a quick review. It was it was just to make sure it was a good goal, and it barely went in. It, it like hit the back of the, hit the back crossbar of the net and came right out, so you would never know it went in. Uh, Flurry good save on Marshawn one-timer. Flurry robs several times. Uh... Then we uh, have a Taylor Hall took a skate to the face on a play, and he went to get, he had left the ice to go get attended to. He would be fine. He would come back. So that was a scary incident. Uh, then Lafferty took a puck to the face, and there was blood. And he went right to the locker room. He would come back. So bloody game, not unnecessarily, but some unlucky skates and unlucky bucks flying around. 
Uh, 1024 though, it's a sh- Chicago responds with a deflection goal. It's Brandon Hagel's 21st of the season from McCabe and Caleb Jones to make it 1 1. Uh, Hollow was causing trouble in front of the Hawks' net. There was a scrum at Whistle. Great individual effort. 1v3 in the offensive zone behind the Bruins' net. Uh, Bruins 2 on 1 was saved. Um, then McCabe had a good hit. Allmark, big save on Debrinkit. Kubali, chance missed the net. Bruins 2 on 1 missed the net. And then at 4.47, there's a Boston goal by Charlie Coyle. It's ruled no goal on the play. Boston challenges, and it was reviewed. And uh, I'm, I'm, ever, all the announcers, the, the announcers on the Chicago side were saying that, yeah, it should be a good goal. Craig Smith didn't really collide with Flurry. He did prior, but Flurry had some enough time to make a save there. Me and my dad were saying the same thing. But on the Boston side, I was I I, had, I watched the Boston side later, or like I saw highlights from it. Jack Edwards said, "Yeah, that's not going to be a good goal because Smith collides with them." It's like the roles were reversed today. It's like he was the unbiased one, while the entire everyone else knew what was going to happen. But Jack Edwards is right. It was declared no goal. I'm shocked. My dad is shocked. The announcers are shocked, and the Bruins are shocked. And because it's a failed challenge, Chicago gets a penalty as it's at 4:47. It's a Boston penalty that that's served by Craig Smith for it's a failed coach's challenge, which would be killed. The Hawks had a chance to take control and they wouldn't. Uh, the power play looked good, but it didn't convert. Flurry big save on Pasternak. Icing call for Boston went uncalled. And an, then then a offside for Chicago went uncalled. Big hit Frederick on Strom. There was a scrum after it, even though it was a clean hit. I thought. Uh, we go to overtime then, and somehow it's overtime. Even though the shots are forty-six to twenty at the end of the third period for Boston, it, Hawks did not deserve to win this game. It should have been about five to one Boston at the at the end of this game. Flurry was incredible. We go to OT, and in OT, uh, after Hollow was on top of Flurry, causing trouble in another scrum, it's a th- at three twenty. It's a Boston goal from Matt Grizzlick, his third of the season from Holland Pasternak. It was an incredible pass by Pasternak. Caden to break it, double teamed him. Uh, he put a pass behind his legs right to Hall. Hall with a two-on-one with Grizzlick. Hall over to Grizzlick, one times it into the net. Fleury gets a piece of it, but not enough as Boston takes the 2-1 win. But an incredible effort from Mark andre Fleury. The Hawks get a point out of it. Boston gets a much-needed two points to get against the Leafs. And now there's no Hawks game until uh, the 19th, in which I hope to put a video up by then discussing the Hawks' trade options and who I think might be leaving the team and who... I think will probably, I guess, just be be available, but no one will take for the price. Cough, cough, Brandon Hagel. But, yeah, that's really all I have for you guys today. Pretty excellent game for Flurry. The, uh, ent- the entire rest of the team, they sucked. Bruins give them credit. They were fantastic, but Hawks couldn't get it done. Bruins do get it done in overtime. Two points to Boston, one point to Chicago, as Boston keeps trying to catch Toronto in the playoff race. No, no standings changes, really. Big win for Vancouver last night. Big loss for Vegas last night. Big win for Edmonton last night. Um, Toronto had a rookie goalie come in and get a shutout. Haven't seen that story before. Uh, that's being sarcastic. That's their fourth goalie to ever do it. And the other three pretty much have done that. The other three have done that, I'm pretty sure, are... Garrett Sparks, Jonathan Bernier, and then it might be Jack Campbell, I want to say. I don't remember. But, yeah, that's really all I have for you guys today. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.